Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Rightway Options, and this is the morning market preparation video for December 23rd, 2019. Well, I hope everyone had a good weekend and you're ready to crank off this eve of Christmas Eve as this market is just showing tremendous bullishness, continuing to set new record highs and looking very, very good overall. Just a quick reminder to everyone, um, the Hit Run Candlesticks and Right Way Options trading rooms will be open tomorrow, Tuesday, Christmas Eve, but there will be no moderators in the room and we will be closed on Wednesday. Once again, the rooms will be open on Thursday, but there will be no moderators. That means that there's going to be no morning market prep videos for Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday as well. So I just wanted to let everyone know that so you weren't looking for them and wondering what had happened to me. We're just taking a little time off, and really it's kind of the recommendation to everyone to take some time off, to be careful trading low volume holiday markets. There's a lot of risk in potentially in uh, doing that. So it's just one of our ways to say, hey, let's uh, let's enjoy our families. Let's enjoy the holiday. Let's not um, be right in the middle of this battle when volumes are likely going to be very subject to institutional algorithms, just kind of tossing them about. Uh, most traders will be gone, uh, trading floors will be empty, and everyone will be traveling. So just kind of keep that in mind um, as we head into this holiday. So let's take a look at what's going on here in the indexes. When we take a look at the diamonds, you, you just got to admit, Santa Claus has had his way with this market this year and you know and why not earnings the quarter of earnings this year has been much better than expected consumer sentiment is high everybody seems to have a job and is working our employment numbers are great and now we're getting past this phase one deal um, which helped reap cutting and reducing those tariffs. I wouldn't rule out the idea that there's not going to be more volatility in the new year as we continue to push on uh, those trade negotiations uh, for the next phase of this deal. But just keep in mind uh, that we're looking really, really good right now. Now, the question everyone I think has to have is, do I buy into this holiday season? Do I take some profits into this holiday season? And I got to tell you, that's going to be really up to anyone here. What I will tell you is right now, there seems to be no signs here at all of failure and we're looking uh, this morning ahead of some economic numbers um, we're looking at another gap up possibly new record highs here in the diamond so kind of keep that in mind the the market um, remains strong but over the next couple of weeks everyone um, beginning tomorrow well actually probably beginning this afternoon as traders start to take off for their holiday plans kind of expect to see volumes drop really really quickly and they could easily stay that way for the next two weeks until we get through the first of the year so just keep that in mind it's going to be really really light um, volume um, likely to occur so you want to think about that and possibly even think about taking some profits into the holiday to to reduce some risk. So let's watch this closely. Right now, bulls are definitely in control. Trends are strong and it would really take a substantial sell off for that to change. And I don't see that happening right now. Let's take a look at the SPY. SPY also very, very strong. And once again, barring some news event or something that might occur out there, I just don't see uh, this market really finding enough uh, bearish energy to really drive um, a whole lot lower. So even if we do get a little profit taking into the holiday i wouldn't expect this to get too extreme but you never know and we always have to stay on our toes and watch that pretty closely right now um, s p futures are looking for just an ever so slight gap up open this morning so just a teeny teeny little gap up this morning trying to perk up here 
um, as we move toward those um, those numbers on the economic calendar. On the queues, queues, uh, very, very strong. As you can see, left a little bit of a topping type pattern up here, uh, particularly gapping up to it. If that were to gap down away from it, that could be that an abandoned baby up there pattern. But right now, um, we're not looking at anything major in sell-off. That could change after those economic news or numbers come out. But right now, uh, markets are strong staying very very strong and i don't see any major fear in the market uh, creeping in to cause us too much trouble there if we take a look at iwm iwm also continuing to move on higher next level up here in iwm for a possible test would be right up in here could move up into that area around 168 so we'll watch that if that can continue to move in this really beautiful upside trend um, in the chart. There's just nothing in here. The Santa Santa's in control um, right now, and everybody is uh, feeling pretty happy here, I guess, with this holiday season. So keep an eye on that. Let's take a look at the VIX. Um, as you can see on the VIX, it, it did get a little bit of a tiny little lift here on Friday lifting up but what we're really doing is just consolidating right in here there just doesn't seem to be enough fear to really um get anything going so i think well today anything is possible after those economic numbers but just keep in mind that that resistance right in there seems to be doing a job right here we're holding uh, support but i don't see anything really creeping in here as any major spike in fear so watch that closely if we happen to get some profit taking into the holiday that might spike up some but i don't think it's going to cause us anything or, or i would be surprised if it created any major damage unless there's some news event that is um, really surprising to the market let's take a look at t21 22 now this t21 22 gives me a little bit of reason for pause and that is that we have pushed and pushed and pushed and pushed and bought and bought and bought and bought. And now we're right up here in our bearish reversal zone. If we gap up and push up this morning, we will definitely be up in this range up in here where we tend to find that we've just pushed it a little bit too far and a little rest may come into the market. Now, please keep in mind, that does not necessarily mean that we, we push up here Mean that we have to just plunge that doesn't mean that at all it could it could mean that we go into a consolidation a consolidation will usually have that drift back down so keep that in mind we don't have to just plunge um, after reaching those areas but it is rather typical when we reach up here, we start a bit of a pullback in the market. So let's watch that close. Um, and, and it would be a little bit of a warning signal, maybe not to be buying too heavily into the holiday. And I think that's a wise plan anyway, is just start cleaning up your cleaning up for the year, you know, our and preparing for next year and protect your capital um, as you go into the holiday who wants to go into the holiday all stressed out with way too many positions and worried about whether or not there's going to be a news report or or you know you know anything out there that could set the market um, uh, set those bears um, into uh, you know that mode of really driving the market lower so just go into that holiday, um, enjoy it, and just remember that we'll, there's plenty of opportunity to always trade the market. So we may find, you know, next year things will just look just as rosy and we can continue to make great profits uh, without the stress over the holidays. Something to consider. Let's take a look at our economic calendar for today. In our economic calendar, we do have a couple of things on here that we're going to want to pay attention to um, right out of the gate. First off, we have durable goods orders. Now, the consensus estimates suggesting that we should be 
right in the range where shouldn't be a major surprise to the market. It could turn out to be a, uh, bullish for the market if they drive a little bit higher. I wouldn't expect any major surprise here, though. And then new home sales, that would be the one that I might be watching a little bit closer, closer because sales have been running pretty hot, and they could start seeing a little bit of a slowdown. But we'll wait and see. Those interest rates being so low may keep those pacing really well. So watch those really uh, closely today. And then after that, I want you guys to notice that Tuesday, even though the market's going to be open half a day, there is nothing going on here. Um, obviously, there's nothing going on on Wednesday. We do have our jobless claims on Thursday, but that's not likely to move us around too much unless there's a major surprise. And so you can see there's not much happening here on Thursday. And it will be maybe Friday when we get a little life back into the market. We'll have to wait and see but even that may be pretty limited in um, inspiration for the market the entire week we do have earnings reports but there are no earnings reports that are particularly notable the entire week so the market will be lacking some inspiration unless we have something in the news cycle that happens to kick things up so keep that in mind everyone it, it could be a very light and choppy holiday all the way through and then that really could carry all the way through into the new year so keep that in mind even though there won't be a morning market prep video tomorrow Wednesday or Thursday there will be one on Friday we'll try to keep up with that but just keep in mind that there's going to be uh, kind of a well a dull market likely here for a while and that's okay you know we don't have to have um, we don't have to have this thing driving every single day to make money we've we've made our money this year and let's um, enjoy the holiday so let's take a look on our earnings calendar we have 13 companies reporting earnings today we have 10 tomorrow obviously no one reporting on wednesday there's seven or eight reporting on friday and none of them are considered particularly notable reports so unlikely that any of those are going to move the market around and right now on the economic calendar or earnings calendar i'm only showing one company reporting on Friday and that it's a small cap company um, unlikely to move the market at all so not a whole lot on the calendar here economic or earnings calendar uh, to move us around so just keep that in mind the market will be looking for some inspiration maybe in um, you know the new spin but other than that um, it's likely going to be a lot of algorithmic trading just kind of chopping the market back and forth over the next several days with that let's take a look at some stocks that may be setting up uh, that you may want to keep an eye on and maybe put on a watch list even for next year um, but before we do that if you guys could do me a favor if you could click that subscribe button on youtube and then click that bell icon when it pops up so that you can be notified every time I post one of these videos. You know, the purpose of these videos are not to hype up anything. They're not to predict anything. They're simply to look at the technicals of the chart, what could be affecting the market, and how you may want to approach your trading for the day. And if you find that helpful, please make sure and click those thumbs up buttons and leave a brief comment. You know, I've been doing this for a long, long time now, but I got to tell you, it, it was when I started doing serious market preparation work that my trading really, really improved and allowed me now to be 15 years as a full-time trader. How cool is that? And anyone can achieve this. If an old carpenter can figure this out, I know anyone can figure this out so if you just calm down a little bit really study the price action of the chart and those technicals that can help you do that and the purpose of these videos is to help everyone do just that and if you find them useful please make sure and leave that comment and click those thumbs up buttons you guys are awesome i truly truly appreciate it so with that let's take a look at some stocks that could be setting up but before we do i want to make sure and remind everyone that every time i 
show a stock in these videos. It's not a recommendation to buy or sell any security. It is merely a look at some, at some of the education, some of the charts that I'm watching. And if you find them to work for you, if you do your evaluation and they appear to be good working charts for you, then by all means, um, uh, take advantage of that information as it works for you. One of the charts you know that I've mentioned a few times is a Signet Jewelers. And Signet um, pulled back, popping back up. Now, I still think this chart, even though we pulled back here on Friday, I would watch this chart in here. This is a pretty substantial breakout in this chart. And Signet has been running in this nice trend. So as this winds around in here, resting, consolidating, that kind of thing, I would still keep an eye on this for that opportunity to for that to move higher. Um, pretty decent breakout here and something to pay attention to. Um, I've, you guys know, I've been mentioning Procter & Gamble here for a while, and Procter made its move um, last Friday, popping on through, but found some sellers up here. Let's watch this closely. As long as we can hold on to this trend, let's watch this in here. It could even drift back below that little support level. As long as we hold on to that trend, there's that opportunity of Procter moving on higher. So keep an eye on Procter & Gamble. Nice looking chart, good potential trade to the upside. You guys know that I, uh, last week, um, starting right in here, I had an alert right in that area. In fact, right there is the alert. And I've been uh, talking about this chart moving up into this resistance level. Monster has made that move. Let's watch this one close. It likely needs some rest consolidation in here before it does too much more. But let's keep an eye on that as that approaches as these highs here monster holding up very well um, some more of that cons um, um, consumer defensive sector was coca-cola as you guys know i am holding coca-cola been holding coke since back over here got a really nice profit going into coke and had a beautiful day on friday popping up and those defensive sector stocks if the market starts getting you know we start seeing a little selling maybe a little profit taking come in um, defensive sector stocks might be a place to look so keep in mind here we've broken uh broken our downtrend we're holding an uptrend and on friday we broke through this resistance so any rest consolidation or pullback could set up that next opportunity for an upside move keep an eye on coca-cola if you have an interest in a stock like that take a look at xhb now i'm going to go to a weekly chart xhb the home builders um, we're pushing into some resistance highs up here and you can see that in that resistance highs really nice tight consolidation here as we push against this resistance now i can't tell you for sure whether this is going to have an opportunity to break on through but i do know if it does break on through i want to know about it because if we can break up into here after being held down so long you guys might be able to see this as a big old inverted head and shoulders pattern so if we can bust through here hold this as support there may be some nice upside potential here in that building sector watch that close looking pretty good overall if you take a look at um t T-H-O, T-H-O, very nice move here in this stock, breaking through this down, um, uh, excuse me, resistance area here, holding this beautiful trend to the upside, showing signs of more upside. So as we broke through that, watch for any rest consolidation or pullback for that next opportunity into that trade in THO. Very nice looking chart. Really like what's going on there. As you guys know, I've been mentioning CGC several times here um, in this chart. I'm gonna go back to a daily chart. CGC looking really good and finding some price support right through here, right on that 50-day moving average holding that downtrend now I don't think this is quite ready for prime time yet but as long as it continues to hold that 50-day moving average as support I want to keep an eye on it. there's that 50-day moving average right in there I want to keep an eye on it this is what we call a rounded bottom breakout pattern love this pattern turns out to be one of the
the better productive patterns that I have an opportunity to trade. And so I'm going to watch this in here for that opportunity of this turning back higher. Keep a close eye on it. Anything is possible in here, but it is looking pretty darn good overall. Take a look at stocks like MasterCard, MasterCard breaking through major resistance area in the chart. And although we popped through and pulled back, we rallied from there, had a little bit of a pullback or rest on Friday, but that is a beautiful, almost textbook perfect breakout, hold of support and trend. Uh, MasterCard looks like it may have upside potential. You could also take a look at Visa. Visa holding up very, very strong, looking good in here. Even AXP has been showing lots of bullishness breaking on through. Now watch some price resistance here in AXP, but holding up nicely as those consumers have been out spending like crazy for this holiday, uh, feeling very, very confident overall. Last but not least, I'm gonna give you a, a shot at a chart that's kind of an interesting chart here in Intel. Intel has been banging against this resistance here. We're knocking on that door, trying to move on through. So keep an eye on this chart. Any consolidation along in here or it pops on through, we might want to be watching Intel. And if you take a look at this on a longer term chart, you can see how important this is. We popped up in here. We've been consolidating right up in this area, trying to find the energy to pop out. So as long as we can hold on to this trend, we may move a little bit closer to that trend, but still looking for that opportunity to bust on through that chart. One you might want to keep an eye on heading into the new year. So with that, everyone, hey, I want to wish you all a fantastic day. I want to wish you great profits. Also, I want to remind you, remember, no morning market prep, Tuesday, Wednesday, or Thursday. I want to wish you all a very happy, very safe, and Merry Christmas to each and every one of you. You guys are just awesome, and I truly appreciate everyone who takes the time watching these videos, leaving comments. You guys, thank you so much. It's been a wonderful year, and I wish want to wish you all the very, very best. Hopefully Santa Claus is very, very good to you. You've all been good girls and boys. There won't be coal in your stockings, and um, he'll bring you something really fun. Everyone take care. Have a great holiday, and we'll see you right back here bright and early Friday morning. I wish you all the best.